Nissan El Grand. 3.5 litre V6. Because it's a van, it's tucked up underneath the, under the windscreen, which makes everything tight. Now, what I'm trying to do, which I've just achieved, so I thought I'd show you if you ever have to do it. You gotta drop your div. Try and get the place. So there's die cast aluminium brackets. I'll show me better. Brackets there. It's free or free bolts on the side. Be warned. When you go try and lower this diff down, the diff wants to rotate like the way it is now on the axle, on the uh, jack. It's sort of safe here, but there's a breather tube just up there, so I didn't want to rip that off, but I'm lucky like, yeah, it's not going to fall, so I'm going to work on it quick. Now, the starter motor is what we had to replace. Now, we had crap a lot of problems. The starter motor has a bolt further up into above uh, the star just there well, on that bracket there's on that bolt you see there's a little bit of um, metal that sticks out that holds that um, plastic on that wire there so that holds that in place that um, metal piece there it's, that holds the um, wiring in place because it comes flat out here you can't get a spanner on the, the, um, the bolt um, you can't really get a socket on there, so that's why we dropped the diff to get a socket on here. These bolts are extremely tight from the factory, um, but we ma we murdered the bolt a bit trying to get it out, and because of that, my wife's got another bolt. But these are the things you look for. But yeah, we're up in the butt again. So we pulled the CV shafts off both sides to get the diff out, but um, no one's got a video out there of this, so I thought I'd show underneath what it looks like hopefully it's coming up all right i can't really focus on my own camera this deep distance but um yeah hey anyway, guys if you do it good luck i'll just the bolts all the bolts everyone was super tight like to the point where they undo they go crack which is not good anyway thanks for watching guys